Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about time-based actions and how to trigger those. What are the things that you need to keep in mind when you're using a time-based action as well? So um, starting with a use case, one of the use case you might get is that when an opportunity is created and the opportunity stays, stage is in prospecting for more than five days, then you want to send an email alert to the opportunity owner, reminding them to move the opportunity stage to qualification or needs analysis. This is a very simple requirement and it can be uh, depending on your use cases. Maybe it's a case object you want to follow up on the customer or whatever that might be. You can use time-based actions to meet those requirements. And one of the things to keep in mind for time-based actions is depending on what you choose, whether it's on create or on edit, the time-based queue will uh, change. So for example, uh, in this case, the opportunity stage is prospecting, we want to send an alert after five days. So what happens if somebody comes in and changes the stage before five days? If that's the case, then you don't want to pick, you don't want to trigger this um, action on create only. You want to trigger this on create and edit because you want, because you want to make sure if somebody comes in and edits the opportunity before five days, then you don't want to send that email alert because otherwise the sales rep is just going to get frustrated because the opportunity stage already has moved and you're still sending them email alert. Depending on the requirement, you might there might be some requirements where you want to only send the email alert on creation. In that case, you can pick that option. So for this uh, video, we are going to focus on flows and how to trigger email actions or any actions, time-based actions, using flows. There are other ways to do that in Salesforce. So you can use process builder, you can use workflow rules. Uh, but since Salesforce is making a lot of enhancements in flows, we're going to look at the flow. So um, to get started, we're on the flow setup here and new flow. And once we set this up, I'll also show you how to how to find where it goes once you once you schedule something. So pick record trigger flow because that's our triggering criteria. So hit next flow. And right here, you you'll see options. So there are options of when a record is created, you can definitely pick this one. Uh, for my criteria, I want to say record is created or updated. So basically, I want to make sure that nobody gets an email if the record is already updated. And then I'm just going to say after the record is saved, hit done and choose object you want to make opportunity. And I'm just going to say stage equals prospecting because that's my criteria and you might have other requirements. So right here, this is another important thing, when to run the flow for updated records. So every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement or only when record is updated to meet the condition requirements. These options will appear under process as well as workflow. So very important to differentiate those. So basically, I don't want the email alert firing every time somebody is updating the record. Or I don't want a tons of email waiting to fire after five days because somebody always, you know, updated the record. And also Salesforce will prevent you to do that. If you want to add a schedule action, you have to pick the second option. So this is very important. If you have the first option, you won't even see the option to schedule something after five days. Same thing with process and same with workflow. So make sure you have the second option checked, hit done. Now, just to show you here, I'm gonna pick the first option and see the add schedule uh, path is gone. So I'm gonna pick the second option now and there is add schedule paths. So I'm gonna click on that and say, reminder after five days. Time source is when opportunity is created or updated for me. It could be closed it, whatever your requirement is. I'm just gonna say five here. And once you select five, you have to option to select what that five means. Days, hours. In my case, I'm just gonna say days after and hit done. So, <clears throat> so by now we only have scheduled the path but now I have to select the action of what I want to do when it reaches that time. So I'm just going to pick something simple, um, email alert. And if you're picking this option, make sure you already have an email alert created. So I'm just going to say notify opportunity owner. Okay. 
and then record ID in my case is the opportunity record ID so just going to pick that and hit done now when you are connecting these two instead of schedule path run immediately you want to say reminder after five days because we don't want to run this immediately right and save so opportunity reminder five days hit save and let's activate that so we can test it out so i'm going to create an opportunity from scratch to show you test op and closed it doesn't matter in my case stage is prospecting because that's my requirement or criteria let's save so now that I have an opportunity created with prospecting states how do I know if the flow actually worked you can go to time based so from setup start typing time and you will be under monitoring time based workflow so if you click on this you'll be brought up to the screen you can either directly hit search or if you want a more predefined or more filtered search you can also do this you can say workflow rule flow or process name you can also filter an object and all these different criteria if you have multiple uh, time based actions in your org and it will have all of those it has it's got the record triggered flows workflow actions as well as process schedule actions before you'd have to go to different places to figure this out but now everything is consolidated here I'm just gonna hit search in my case because I only have one thing so this is how you will know test pro flow prospecting opportunity minor five days and it's telling me schedule date is 3 26 2021 8 10 a.m. because my org is in Pacific time so that's five days from now and the created date is today now uh, what I will do is go ahead and change the stage to qualification okay so I've changed the stage to qualification what happens now and I'll hit search again and that's gone because it doesn't it no longer meets the criteria so that kind of the queue is invalid for me and that's why it's gone from the queue which is a really important feature because otherwise you would end up getting email alerts multiple times. So that's why Salesforce flow prevents you from even having those if you select that first option. Okay, so that's about the flow. Um, if you wanted to do the same thing, which I don't know why you would want to do, but let's say if you are still using workflow rules that still has same kind of, uh, it's the same basic thing. Um, so hit next and once you have the workflow created created and every time it's sub edited to subsequently meet the criteria you have to have this third option selected and then you will I'm just gonna pick some random because I'm just showing it to you here and all right test And once you are here, that's where you'll see the add time trigger option. If I didn't select this third option, I wouldn't even see this option. Same thing with process as well. So even if you go to process, you'll have the same set of options. But um, if you are building this right now in real time, then I highly recommend using flow un unless there is a gap that flow doesn't support yet and which might be the case for you. Uh, but for process as well, it's the same thing. So I want to show you real quick how it looks. Um, so here, for example, in my case, you want to say, do you want to execute these actions only when specified changes are made to the record? And if you hit yes, then you'll have these options of schedule action. This is where you can say um, hours or days after whatever date. So same kind of setup. And then you can set the action after that. Since this is already active, I'm not able to uh, edit this. But this is the general idea of how you would set up the schedule actions. One quick note as well is I would, at least for, uh, for me and working with schedule actions, if you have an option of 
um, maybe using a different approach as opposed to schedule actions. I would highly recommend that. Try to avoid uh, the schedule actions as much as you can because it, do it does get very tricky to sometimes debug it and people are not getting emails. Then imagine if, you, if your org has many queues, um, you might run into a lot of issues trying to just debug it and why it's not working. So see if, if there's an option to not use it and maybe try to use some other things like uh, schedule jobs, for example. You might have a schedule job set up for daily, which picks all the records and sends an email alert to the respective people. I think that would be a better uh, architecture rather than using time-based workflow for everything. So use it sparsely uh, only if it's needed, is what I'm trying to say. So I hope that was helpful uh, to give a general understanding. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, and, um, and if you like the content, subscribe and also click the bell icon so you get notified anytime I make a video. Thank you.